let's go ahead and get bound on in and then we'll get started. Oh yeah, shit, kunye. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and warm up our legs first. This wrong is getting old, so we'll open up our gates, raise up our knees, and have open up, just like out of Christmas kicks. Awesome job. Coco, is that a Christmas hat right behind you? All right, two months, two months late. That's okay. Are you that excited for Christmas? Yeah? If you're wondering, Mr. Ramos' favorite holiday is um, 4th of July. So now, now we're gonna work on raising up our leg just like this. So keep it up in a chamber. And I want you to just work on straightening out as far as you can. The slower you go, the better. And then pull it back slowly in. Just like this. So it's like we're doing a psychic from a universal chamber. I'll show you on this side. Ready? Raise up your leg and push all the way out. I should only see legs being stretched out. Not Serafina meowing into the camera and pulling back in. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Now let's stretch out our arms just a little bit more. Show me how to do some backstrokes just like this. All right, perfect. And that's it, that's it. Huh. All right, awesome. So this is gonna be your first warm up today. We're gonna go through front kicks, round kicks, and side kicks. Has everyone got that memorized? This is what we're gonna do. Have our hands up. We're gonna go down for a squat, come up. Front kick on this side, down, squat. Front kick on this side, squat, and round, boom. Squat, round, squat, side kick. And then squat, side kick, boom. Just like that. Does everyone got it? Keep on going back and forth all the way. When you do your side kick, go back to your front kick. I'm gonna highlight some of my students coming back around. Let's see. Miss Kaylin, good to see you today. Who's up next? Who's up next? Remember, keep your back straight, or else you're just gonna look like an angry froggy. Awesome job. Ready? And let's see the yips. Very nice. Oh my goodness. You girls are getting taller and taller. All right. And back to me. And you know what? We're going to use one more thing for our drills today. Ooh, good to see you, Isaiah. I want you to go ahead and get a pillow. But if you can, try to get a smaller, smaller pillow. I'm thinking, hmm, let's see. This is an okay size. I wonder where the other pillow went. The smaller, the better. All right, awesome. So let's review over our um, one of our punching combinations. Ready, have our hands up. Show me that pass, parry down, and show me that palm strike. Out, right? You guys remember what a parry is, right? Not a platypus. It's when I deflect a move out of the way, right? So show me that, that parry and palm. Show me your vertical punch. Show me your hook, spinning, back fist. Awesome job. And show me that um, spinning back fist again. One, two, three, pow. Awesome. Now I'm gonna show you two ways on how to do that back fist. We're gonna work on this with our pillow in just a second. This is number one. One, two, three. That's back fist number one. And then this is back fist number two. One, two, three, pow. Which one is less predictable? What do you guys think? The one when I'm spinning like a helicopter like this, or the one when I wait for the last moment, when I see my target, boom, the strike. Number two, perfect. So this is what I want you to work on now. Make sure wherever you're aiming your pillow, it doesn't hit anything important, but we're not gonna try to launch it that far. What I want you to work on is you're tossing up your pillow, and you wait for it, come down, and hit it with the back fist. It almost hit me in the head. I have to back up a little bit. So show me one more time. Toss up, spin, boom, and hit out. This makes it slower. And you can see this coming a mile away, right? So have your hands up, try it out. Toss up, spin it, bah, back fist. I'm gonna go ahead and spotlight some of you guys. Let's see, put on gallery first. Who's spinning fast? Who's that? Human Beyblade. Aha, Mr. Oliver has disappeared. Oh, he's reappeared. Ready, spinning, back fist. Good, 
Keep that arm in, buddy, right when you see your target. That's when you swing it out. Let's see who's up next. Who's up next? Uh, somewhere in the polar region. Mr. Coco, boom. Nice. Maybe you can catch some snowflakes. Awesome. And bring it back to me. Perfect. Hands up. Huh. Now let's give me our next one. We're working on more of our vertical motion. So everyone show me a vertical punch. Huh. With our front hand. And show me a vertical punch with our back hand. Awesome. So most of our punches, we have a what with that movement. Look at my fists. We have a form of something that twists. It rhymes with uh, motivation. Rotation, right? It wouldn't show me how to twist. Now show me how to do the twist. All right, awesome, hands up. So the rotation we have with our regular punches is we're rotating our what? Can you point to it in my hand? It is our wrist, right? We start off with our cross here and then slow motion, whoo, you see it spin out. But what about with our vertical punch? My wrist, or my wrist is staying stiff the whole time. What's my rotation? Think about it and then point to me. Good to see you, Mr. Finn. Let's see, I'm gonna put on gallery so I can see your awesome long hair. All right, awesome. Oh, you got a haircut. Did you get a haircut? Nice, awesome. Oh, wow, you're braver than me. But the rotation with a vertical punch is using our shoulder. You've seen a train before and how, is, how it has um, beams on the tracks to keep it spinning. That's how we think about it using our vertical punch. So now show me one, two, and we're not going one, two, meow, meow. We're keeping that fist straight, boom, pa, boom. Good. And what do you guys think? Am I having it go in a circle like this? Or am I just giving each a turn to get faster and faster? One or two? Two. So this is what I want you guys to work on now. You're gonna toss up this pillow and you're gonna show me a front hand, vertical punch. And then when you have that down, try to squeeze in two punches. And then when you have that down, and have your punches be lighter and lighter every time, because if I want to go full force, I wouldn't have enough time to hit it because I'm already launching it. Try to squeeze in three. Toss up, one, two, three, out. Try to get to three, try to get to four. Try to get to five, try to get to 10. Sound good? Awesome. So show you one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And we're gonna be using a pillow for this one, Finn. So you're gonna toss up that pillow, catch it in the air. And you're gonna do a vertical punch onto it. You get faster and faster. Good, I'm gonna be spotlighting some of you guys. All right, some Lenny and Torben, let's see. Hmm. Let's see my fellow friend, the Ravenclaw. All right, awesome, Finn. Who's up next? Good, super strong. Someone's got really big muscles. Mr. Isaiah, have a go. Wow, nice, awesome. No need for hooks for right now. But awesome work, my friend. And back to me. Everyone's gonna take you, sir. Hey, Mr. Torben, good to see you, my friend here. Let me put on gallery. All right, so we were just working on vertical punches. Let's review over um, it now. Catch up Torben the speed, have our hands up. Show me your jab. Cross, hook, uppercut. Good. Vertical punch. Vertical punch. Do you guys know the difference between vertical and horizontal? When you're thinking vertical, think about soda can. Because that's the shape of my fist, right? But if I'm thinking horizontal, I'm thinking burger. Just like this. Soda, burger. Soda, burger. Now Mr. Ramos is hungry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Show me. Pass, palm strike, and vertical punch. Show me hook, show me spinning, back fist. Awesome job, perfect. Now stand it everyone, hook. All right, awesome. Now let's go ahead and grab our weapons for today. It's gonna be our Sanjabongs. 
Perfect. If you don't have your weapon yet, you may use maybe a belt, maybe a clean sock. I'm tired of seeing dirty socks onto this Zoom class. You know, Mr. Ramos can smell you guys from there. Whew. I'm just kidding. All right. Awesome. You can even use a shirt if you want. Or your car keys. I know you guys are driving now. All right. So, bowing on in. Kunye. And again, if you have any more questions, please put it into the chat for right now. Have your sanjuang out. Start warming up our wrist. Awesome. Yes, stringy toys work as well. Just be careful when you're doing your, your circles because you might hit yourself in the back of the head. We don't want that. Mr. Ramos has a natural helmet of hair, so I'm okay. All right. Show me your twirls in the front. I'll do it on this side. Perfect. Show me your twirls above the head. Spin those clouds away. Ah, I'm gonna need to get to see you, my friend. Let's see. All right, it's perfect. Now show me your figure eights, everyone. We're going in our one and two lines. Good. Start big with your arms, and get smaller using your elbows, then only use your wrist, and pick up speed. Awesome. Who knows how to do a reverse figure eight? It's, we're still making the same X, but now, instead of swinging downwards, swing upwards. Ooh, Dylan's got it pretty good. We're, we're going, swing, swing up. Five, six, five, six, five, six. So start slow again. Wide strokes. These strokes, good band. Ready? And elbow and wrist. Perfect. Awesome. So now let's warm up using our uh, chicken wings. And who likes spicy food over here? I know I do. Awesome. Well, if you don't like spicy food, you're still in luck because we don't have to taste these chicken wings. Ready? Let's spice it up just a little bit more. We'll do, um, hmm, maybe some, maybe some Cajun seasoning. We'll have it go up, twirl downwards, and twirl up, just like this. Circle down, circle up, circle down, circle up. Get faster. Awesome. If you want to spice it up a little bit more. Oh, Serafina, can I drink a water? Is it too spicy for you? Ready? Show me a figure eight downwards and reverse figure eight up. One, two, down, boom, up. Down, up. You're good, Torben, if you can still hear me. Awesome, there you are. My hair's catching up to you, buddy. All right, awesome. And now, try out doing a 360. So let's do it um, across our, our waist first, adjusting more Ramos height. All right, perfect. So, watch over here, I'm having that release. I like to think about like the string that's hugging the back of my hand. When I do it, I'll show you guys over here. I turn it over, whoop, and I catch it in reverse grip. You might have seen this kind of style of gripping before. If you've seen, um, I don't know, ninjas, they hold it just like this and keep it behind them. We're not doing reverse grip for right now. And that's when we're catching for our 360 releases. So over and back and forth. So try this going from side to side. And then a spicier version, let's do a mango habanero. Ready? We're gonna do a 360 down. So I'm catching it and having it go underneath my arm and then I'm slinging it back up. Swing down, sling up, just like this. Perfect, awesome. Now, back to basics. Show me your triangle strikes or more like R1, four, Twirl up. Boom. Boom. What I like doing is putting um, a reverse figure eight for my twirl up instead of the regular circle. Adds more spice. So instead of boom, 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 it's boom, boom, boom. Awesome. If you're feeling lucky, try 360 catch, and then we're doing that 
coming upwards. So it's a 360 triangle. It's okay if you let go. When Miss Ramos was learning how to do Sanjabang, he let go of it a lot. All right, awesome. Even when, when I would practice at home, my parents would put all the pillows all around the room, wherever I'm practicing, and say, please, please don't hit the TV again. All right, so don't worry. Practice makes it perfect. All right, now show me your figure eights one more time. This is my challenge for you guys today. Actually, first show me your 360. You see how it works? Goes over the hand and goes back. So whenever it's swinging up, even from here, if I do a one strike, I can bring it back up and catch it in reverse grip. Actually, let's just try that out right, right now. Just that first step. Show me one strike and then twirl back up over here. Show me again, one, boom. And twirl, and we're just gonna catch it in reverse grip over here. I'll show you on the other side. One strike, boom, and then 360 up. If you're using a toy, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Just work on the motion right now. Good. Strike and twirl up. Now here's the hard part, ready? We're gonna do a two strike while we're holding in reverse grip. And when we swing it up, we're gonna catch it overhand. This is a pretty tough maneuver. So I'll show you one more time. One and 360 over and two and 360 over. This is cut in half because altogether it is a 360 figure eight. I saw someone in the chat ask on how to do this. This is the main steps. It takes a while. It also depends on your Sanjay Bong if it likes you or not. Because sometimes that might happen. Everyone's gonna set. Awesome, perfect. Let's review over our nine strikes and we'll get faster and faster and then we'll move on to our self-defense. So ready. Sound bugs up. Have fun, ready, show me one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven up, eight down, nine. Sound bugs together and hook. Yeah. Awesome job, a little bit faster. Ready everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it together and nine. Perfect. Awesome. All right. I'll leave you guys off with one more trick before we go into some self defense. We're going to review over a break fall in just a second. But first, have a song to one out. I'm not sure if you guys have seen me do this before. I call this the Ramos swirl. I'm using it with two so you can see it on both sides, but we're going to practice it with one. I like having a 360 catch over and then I catch both sticks and I holster them just like cowboys. But it's, it's actually a move. I'm just extending my 360 pass. This is just for fun. If you want to end it off in maybe a freestyle or anything like that. So I do my 360 and when I catch it here, I keep it going. So I catch both sticks. So this is my regular one, 360 over. And then this is the cowboy one. Oh, catch. Good job, kid. All right. Awesome. So go ahead and practice that out. I'll show you one more time. Twirl over. Oh, catch. And holster down. That'd be cool, huh? If you had holsters for your sandra bongs. Awesome. So go ahead and put your sandra bongs away. And then we're going to work on our um, break falls. So make sure you have a pillow with you. And make sure you have um, something soft to land on, whether it be carpeted floor or you have the pillow with you. So bang on out, chip, kung it. ATA, perfect. All right, awesome. <laughs> All right, so before we begin, who has seen the dance move that's called the worm? And someone, pretend this is someone's head, they're on the floor and they flop just like this. Or actually, everyone showed me a wave this way. Or this way. Or Raina is even doing the worm. All right, so we're gonna use this for our class. So keep on doing the worm, my friend. Can you, can you show the whole class the worm? All right, perfect. So watch how she does the worm. Ready? She's going, she's having her knees hit the floor and then she's not letting her head hit the floor. Awesome, thank you, Renisha. Yeah, isn't that great? All right, perfect. So 
we're gonna have our arms copy that motion. I know it looks, it looks silly, but this is how we're gonna help remember it. So everyone show me this. And when we hit the floor with our break fall, the purpose of our break fall, I'll move it like this and I will fall over. Cool. Is we protect our head. And how I do that is a lot of steps. I'll do it for my squat over here. But when I fall over, I'm coiled up just like a roly poly. Did anyone see that? So, or if you're really good at cannonballs, jumping into a pool, I curl up into a ball and I roll back. Cool. But that's not all I'm doing. I'm having my hands hit the floor. And this breaks the fall of when I finally hit the ground. So watch how I do it. I'm not doing a hammer fist on the ground or I'm not falling back and I'm keeping my arms straight. This is never a good thing. Please don't try this out. But when I fall back, my hands kind of help me roll off the ground. Does anyone see that? I'll go from here. And I'm actually pushing on the ground, push myself back up instead of letting me hit the head, bonk, just like this. So, everyone show me your hands. And let's go on the floor and just try this out. Have it go flat and push, push on the planet Earth. Good, I'll watch you guys. Awesome. So, one more time. Let's just try it from sitting down, everyone. So I'll face you guys over here. Perfect. Awesome. So we have our hands out. And when we fall, it's like we're saying, oh, no. And then we have our hands drop down while I keep my chin tucked into my chest. So, yes, I'm making a double chin. Can you guys show me your double chin? Oh, your double chin face. If you don't know what a double chin face is, try to bite your stomach. That's what that face is. All right, awesome. So let's try to put that together. Make sure that you have a pillow to land on. So this is how it's gonna work. You can put your pillow over your head. Lay back here. All right, this is where I'm gonna land. Then I'm gonna come on up. Ooh, sorry, there's a ceiling light up there. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna be, you can either be sitting down or be squatting for this one. Now have my hands in X. I'm gonna squat down, my hands out. And show me how to curl up one more time, everyone. Like a roly poly, we keep our chin to our chest. Perfect. I'm gonna fall back. Does my head hit the ground? Nope, it doesn't. Why we're breaking or why we're breaking our fall is to protect our heads. I have my wings out. I fall back, chest in, and whoo. I do my break fall just like that. Awesome. Let's see. Let me put on gallery so I can see all of you guys. Do, 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 do. I think an alligator from here. All right. Awesome. So try it again slowly. I'll guide you through it. So I'll be watching you guys. Ready? Everyone show me your squat. Good. Show me wings. Have it out. All right, and ready? Our last step and my favorites, we keep your chest in. Good. So be careful when we're falling back, we may have um, a likeness to fall back this way. This is not a good idea. Because if my arm is straight, that's the rest of my body weight going onto my arm. And you think my arm can handle that? Mr. Ramos isn't that strong, at least in the arms. No. So. This is why we curl up our body. Instead of plopping on the ground like this, oh, I keep it rolled. Because if a ball hits the floor, it usually rolls off. But if a brick hits the floor, what happens? Ouchie, right? So I'll show you one more time. Ready. And I'll watch you guys, or do it with me. So stand at head, everyone. You guys are very, very brave. All right, perfect. If you're wearing a beanie, that's also pretty smart. That's like a little bit of cushion on your head. All right. Nice. All right, perfect. So, everyone say squat. Good. Wings. Wee! Good job. Awesome. Yeah, we're working on it. But in case you guys hit your head, did anyone hit your head? No? 
All right, no worries. We're still working on it for right now. Um, hopefully not a lot of us hit our heads, but just to make sure that you hit it, hit your head too hard. What number is this, everyone? You guys are wrong. It is 11. You must, just, you must have hit your head really, really hard. That's one, one. All right. I had someone answer five. And if you know Roman numerals, that was actually a pretty good joke. All right. Awesome. Everyone's going to tits. Mr. Ramos is a math nerd. All right. Perfect. And now our last part. Let's see. Actually, is Mr. Sane in the building? No, he isn't. All right. Awesome. Everyone's going to tits. We're going to be working on our forms now for song five and Jung Jung one. So for our first part, who said three? Oh, my goodness. Wait a second. Uh-oh. Torben, I think you got to get that checked out. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So we're going to be working on our forms now. 200. Oh. All right. Standard sets. So first, Scion 5. And I want us to work on the setup for our moves. So bowing on in. Chip. Kunye. And say, if you're working on a different form, you may practice that now up to how much you know. And I'll review it with you in just a second. So show me your chun Song on five. Good. I'll do it facing towards the camera so you see my setup. Step forward. And what stance are we in? My front leg is bent. My back leg is straight. Front stance. Good. My hands are at an X, just like this. And the twist out. And this is a double out of forearm block or twin out of forearm block. Show me if double, twin. You guys tell me. Twin. Awesome. Yeah, awesome, Spider-Man. All right, ready? Twin out of forearm block. Good. Show me your front kick. Good. And then let's work on our rich hand strike. We have our hand up behind. We have our um, front hand aiming. And when I do the strike, which one is better? Number one or number two? What do you think? One or two? One. That's correct. Because the rich hand actually goes... In an outward motion, not in a swinging motion, because like our spinning back fist, you can see this one coming how many miles away? A lot of miles. About how many numbers Torben is seeing right now? Oh. All right, awesome. So show me rich hand strike. With that same leg, show me round kick. Oh. And double knife. Out. Awesome. There's actually a really cool combination. Let's do, let's do a little one, too. Have our hands up. Everyone show me an uppercut with our front hand. And I want you to set up with your backhand a rich hand strike. Look how it blocks it. Boom. Do you see my backhand? Nope. Ah. That's a tricky one, two right there. Show me uppercuts. Because we're using this, we're turning our body, and we're hiding our backhand. They don't know we have this set up. That uppercut and rich hand out. And yes, don't worry, I'll be getting to my red and black belts as well. Perfect. Awesome. All right. If you guys want more practice, you can always try it out on a pillow. Have you come up and have you shoot out. Perfect. Now let's work on Jung Jung one. Perfect. See on the sets. And show me your chunbi. I like thinking of pizzas for the beginning of this form, especially for the six moves. So watch this. I have my left hand down, my hand out. And this is the setup for our upset palm strike because it has that twisting motion upwards over here. Middle stance, I have the pizza out in front of me and I punch them to my, my customers. Pow, pow. Ready? And then other hand down, set feet together, step out to this side. Show me upward palm, boom. And pizza, pizza. One more time, ready. Order up, pizza, pizza, other side. Order up, and pizza, pizza. All right, perfect. And it's hot. All right, and now for our, let's see, my red and black belts. Genevieve, can you hear me all right? All right, perfect. So. This is how it's going to work. We're out of time for class today. Genevieve, I'm going to look at your form after I um, bow to everyone because I want to see you over Zoom, if that's possible. But if you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer it for right now. So everyone say that's it. Yes, sir. 
we'll be working more on our break falls. It is a tough one, especially to do over, over Zoom. Um, but safety is a priority. I'm glad none of you guys got hurt. But you guys are doing really, really awesome. You're fast learners. All right, so stand and sit. Bow yeah, chip. Kung ye. All right, awesome. Have a good day, everyone. We're at Black Belt. Stay with me. And we'll go over our form if you like, and if you have a camera on. Bye, Isaiah. Bye, Serafina. Dance party. Bye, Dylan. Dance party. Bye, Naya. All right, 30 rolls of. Huh, all right, perfect. So now, let's see. Yes, Miss Alessandra, are you working on Red Bell as well? How about this? I'll unmute you. Will we be having ukulele class today? Not today. We're, right now, we're at a weird schedule point right now because since we're teaching outdoors classes and Mr. Ramos is teaching with that, we don't have a lot of time for ukulele class. Um, I am a red belt, but I but I have been learning a different form. You've, you've been learning a different form? You've been working on Jung Jung too, correct? Or, or have you been doing your color belt forms? Like song one, song two, song three? I've been doing this one. Oh, Jung Jung one? Mm-hmm. Hey, Mr. Jung. Um, Miss Alessandra has been working on Jung Jung one oh. as a red belt. Is that possible? Oh, okay, maybe, I, maybe she didn't graduate. Like okay, gotcha. Uh, did you just get your belts, Miss Alessandra, or? Um, a few weeks ago when I tested, okay. I got a red belt. Awesome. So now that you're um, now that you're red belts, good news. You're working on Jung Jung One, so it is this form. You're working on it with Miss Genevieve, who isn't there anymore. Okay, never mind. All right. Oh, it was Miss Amrit. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Amrit. All right. So Alessandra, you're gonna be working on it with me and Miss Amrit. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. All right, we're going to go through our first moves just for our friend, Miss Alessandra, and then I'll teach you a little bit more. Sound good? All right, awesome. So, thank you, Miss Alessandra, and congrats on your new red belt. Perfect. So, bow again. And let's see here. I'm going to move it over here on this side. And um, let's see. Rainer Manisha, I see you too. I'm going to help you out with your form in just a second as well. So, to me, for Jung Jung 2, so this is for my red belts right now. At least you get a sneak peek of red belt form, right? All right, perfect. Step off to our right over here. Have our arms ready for our square block. And give me knife hands. Good. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And something really, really cool is that all a square block is is a combination of an outer forearm block over here and a high block. Awesome. Then show me the other side. Ready? Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Step forward. Low block. And punch. Step forward. Low block. And punch. Good. So these are your first six moves. Sound good, Alessandra? It looks like you've seen um, this part before. All right. Awesome. Let's try it out one more time, my friend. Amrit, are you doing okay, my friend? All right, ready. So one, two, three, four, five. Switch. Two, three, four, five. Step forward. Low block. Punch. Step forward. Low block. Punch. Very nice, Alessandra. And something cool is usually we're used to doing stepping out for a front stance when you do that low block, right? We even got that down on um, song one. But for this one, we're doing a back stance. For low block. Aim. Punch. Step forward, low block, aim, punch. Awesome. So try that out. <laughs> I like your shirt, Amrit. And then, Amrit, I want you to get to as far as you know. And a donut. Oh, that just made it even better. <laughs> get to as far as you know. All right, my friends. And good job, Alessandra. Try that out one more time, and then I'll give you a high five, and we'll be good for class. And that'll be your first six moves. Round kick, side kick. Ooh. Spin around for the elbow. 
So after that front kick, the first one, boom, and spin around. Back up on this side. Mm -hmm. And then continue. All right, Alessandro, you did awesome. High five. All right, perfect. So one thing that we're going to work on, um, Amrit, before we move on, is when I do that palm strike, so after from here, the uppercut. I have my hand out, I step forward, and palm, push, boom. And then over here, and push out. Then I do my front kick, and I spin around for my backwards elbow strike. Sound good? So can you show me that again after the upset punch? We're stepping forward with our back foot. Palm, aim. I know if, um, if, you have, if you don't have a lot of room, that's okay. Good, awesome. And now our next part, after the final double out of forearm block over here, Amrit. So remember, we just did the, the round kick and out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn my back over on this side. And I'm going to do a low chop, just like this. And I'm going to be in a rear stance. So it's like a back stance, but I'm, I have my front foot coiled up. So I'm on the ball of my foot over here. Got that, Rain and Renisha? This is the form you're gonna be doing soon. Chop down, and then I'm coming up for a rich, uh, upset rich hand block in a middle stance. So think one, two, one, two. Make sense? Perfect, awesome. I'll teach you those two moves for right now, Amrit, and still work on just the step forward with your palms. Sound good? All right, awesome. And Rainy Renisha, thank you so much for your patience. Are you ready, ladies? What part do you need help with? Can you type into the chat? Hi, I'm neat. Oh, I got your pictures in, by the way, ladies. I think it was the, the other day. Um, the car, they looked really good. You know, some of my favorite colors is like when they make the, the outline first and then do the light shading in. That's, that's always really nice, yeah. I'm mute. Can I show you the part that I need help on? Sounds good, girl. Because the day that Miss Gonzalez was teaching us it, mm -hmm. um, the spin around part, I was kind of confused on. All right, so let's see what you got. All right, perfect. Yeah, you got the spin. Oh, and enter. Out. So from here. Oh, so from this move? Yeah, I just didn't know until here. Yeah, there's actually no, not a spin for for the first time we do it. Let me adjust it to Ramos height real quick. All right, <laughs> awesome. So from this um from this twin inner block, we step forward into a back stance for our double out of forearm block. Mm -hmm. And then one kick. Good. Right punch. Step reverse side kick. And then one more double out of forearm block. So it's like a sandwich. Good. And then from there, we move on to the next segment. Sound good? Well, you girls are on the right track. Awesome. So from here, twin low, twin inner block. One, two. Good. Step forward. Double out. Front kick. Punch. Step. Reverse side kick. And double block. Awesome. Nice girls. You're on the right track. Any other um, questions? Which one would you say was better? Um, hers was the pencil, mine was the um crayon. Who's who would you say was better? Both were really nice. I can't make a decision. Just like uh, how I can't pick my favorite sister out of you two. <laughs> <laughs> your girls did awesome. <laughs> Both of your girls did awesome, and you have your own styles into it. That's I think that's the best part about um this whole art competition. We get to see everyone's personalities and how they draw or how they how they color. It's really nice. All right. That's it for today, girls. I am going to be going to teach adult class soon. So I'll be seeing you next time. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks. Have a good one.